yeah, just uh, happy with life. Yeah, happy. Yeah, with something clearly. <laughs> What's uh, happening? Just loving the air out there in Canada. <laughs> I have no idea, but of course he's happy about the match result thus far. He's up a full point. Magnus starts checking it, driving it away. Yep. No progress has been made over the last 20 moves now. Hikaru, wow. He's can he recover? Yeah, can he recover from this heartbreak? And uh, lots of cheerleaders we see for Hikaru uh, on Twitter. And yeah, he's put up such a fight. I love everything Hikaru's done this game. Just Is that a Hikachu? Hikachu. <laughs> Hikaru or a Hikachu? Yeah. <laughs> It's just so close. This is the most frustrating thing in chess. You do everything right. Hikaru's literally not put a foot wrong this game, but yeah. breaking the defences of uh, the world number one, that's another question. That's another level. But there is something to take away from it. The fact that Hikaru was able to create this chance, this opportunity with the black pieces. David, earlier you were talking about going into the last round on his terms, and that's what he's managed to create. He's made it clear that Magnus needs to be careful. There we have it. Game three is a draw so close for Hikaru Nakamura to make that comeback. He is not happy, but he does still have another chance. Game I się kasuje konto na czeskomie. Cancelo, co to dla mnie? Go next. Wiem, widzę to. Ale gówno zagrałem. <grym> Ej, szczerze? Ale ścieka ja zagrałem, co tu się kurwa dzieje? Ej, widzowie! Mat w jednym. Nie ma jak tu zasłonić tego... A nie ma. Kurwa. And I have to say for Hikaru as well, uh, I know that uh, he's been fighting through some, some difficult stuff in this tournament with his family and I think he'll agree as well um, that uh, he didn't manage to, to show his best level, but the fact that he still gets he still gets through the quarterfinal, uh, sorry, qualifier, and then all the way to uh, the final and makes it uh, makes it close. That's um, a real testament to his uh, uh, to his strength of uh, character and also uh, how how good he is. Definitely. No, this game is still second. going. Yeah, he still had enough time, but barely enough time. Oof. And that's the problem: is the knight is kicked out. So the white knight defends the pawn. The black knight can't stay there forever. And don't forget that white has this pass pawn on the queen side. That a3 pawn still exists. You're going to start pushing that one up the board and threatening the black king with checkmating ideas. Hikaru yeah. looks very unhappy with his position, shaking his head there. He looked ready to resign. He nearly got out of his chair a moment ago. Now Magnus has to be slightly careful where he puts the king. You don't want to put the king on a passive square. There we go. Out into the open. Out towards safety. And I think uh, Hikaru, body language, he's ready to resign. The White King's just going to attack these pieces. And now the Black King is the one that is doomed. Checkmate is coming. Black's King all alone. And Hikaru does eventually throw in the towel. Wow. Magnus Carlsen strikes first in the grand final. He takes the lead, winning game one with the White Pieces.
that means Hikaru Nakamura will have to make a comeback at some point and take this to a grand final. Magnus looking over this. No smile on his face. Będzie szczęśliwy. Jutro mu to wyślijcie. Nie zapomnijcie. Ucieszy się. Po prostu się ucieszy. Pomimo, że przejebałem właśnie 50 punktów przed chwilą, to, to go ucieszy. You land something on a square that looks like it's protected multiple times. It looks impossible, but uh, often that breaks the coordination in the enemy army. And look and at Hikaru. look Hikaru. at the bar. Yeah, he's got a lost position and uh, he knows it, unfortunately. Suddenly too many problems. That white C pawn is about to fall off with a nasty check. That black H pawn, as Robert pointed out, running down the board, racing down to promotion soon. Actually, it's almost resignable, you've got to say. Not just that, there's another problem. The knight can jump into the play by giving a check to the king and really creating all kinds of forks and attacks. Just amazing board vision here by Magnus. First he breaks on the queen side and then on the king side sacrificing a pawn. And this just looks like... It's we have a result. over! Wow. We have a winner! Magnus Carlsen takes it. He wins the Air Things Masters, the very first event in the Champions Chess Tour 2023. We do see a smile on his face. And what a battle it's been and what a fight Hikaru Nakamura has put on making Jeśli u białych król jest na czarnym polu i wieża jest na czarnym polu, to jest szansa, że wpadniesz w widełki. Natomiast jeśli ustawisz wieżę na jakimkolwiek białym polu i króla na białym polu, to nigdy nie będzie sytuacji, że gdzieś ten koń da ci zrobić ci widełki. A. Oj widzowie, upadło mi coś. Bartek! Co ty robisz? <laughs> Widzisz, Marteczko? I teraz dostałam bardzo dobrego, mądrego donata, wiesz? Uwaga, donajcik. Bartosz, masz rację.